Let's talk aperture. Unlike ISO and shutter, aperture is something that's exclusive to the lens, not the camera. When it comes to aperture, also known as your f-stop, there's a huge variety in your lenses. Because of cost, size, focal length, and the way the lens works, you have aperture blades. The more that the blades open, the brighter the image. The more they close down, the darker the image. If you have a lower f-stop, your image is brighter. If you have a higher f-stop, your image is darker. The secondary effect is, a low f-stop, you get a shallow depth of field. The higher the f-stop, it's a deep depth of field, everything's in focus. Focus is supposed to guide the viewer's eyes. It's a tool. In portrait photography, you want the viewer to look at the subject, hence why you want the subject in focus and everything else out of focus. However, if you're making something very cinematic, a lot of production design, it makes sense to have a deep depth of field in that situation. So let's sum everything up. The higher the ISO, the brighter the image, but the more noise. The lower the shutter, the brighter the image and more motion blur. The lower the aperture, the brighter the image and you get a shallow depth of field. Once you can learn how these three things work together, you'll be able to master shooting in manual.